Today, the Shasta County Board of Supervisors have called a special meeting in Reading, and the only topic on the agenda is discussing how the Zog Fire settlement money is being spent. This came up at the supervisors' meeting on July 25th. In 2021, Shasta County Supervisors had approved a spending plan for the $9.7 million civil settlement that PG&E reached with Shasta and Tehama counties regarding the Zog Fire. Then, in May of this year, the District Attorney's Office reached a separate $50 million settlement in exchange for dropping manslaughter charges against the company for the four people killed in the Zog fire. At the July 25th meeting, the DA, Stephanie Bridget, explained the spending of that $50 million settlement with the goals of fire prevention, honoring the victims, and penalizing PG&E. And here are some of the line items. $15.5 million going to the Shasta County Fire Department, $3.5 million going to Reading Fire, another $3.5 million to Anderson Fire, $5 million to the Shasta County District Attorney's Office. And $7 million is going to the Children's Legacy Fund, a nonprofit on which DA Bridget is a board member. Here are some of the questions raised at that meeting and the DA's response. My question is, what does the Legacy Center do in wildfire response, recovery? What do they do that earn them 15% of that $50 million settlement? I think that is egregious and that is ridiculous. The, the one that really kind of bothers me is obviously the, you know, seven million to the Children's Legacy Center, the 2.4 million to Shasta College, um, and especially compared to $5,000 to each volunteer fire department. I mean, I, 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 boy, that's tough. Close to 70% of this settlement went to our fire and law enforcement that supports the entire community. Yeah, I, I, I guess what I'm struggling with is, is I go is what endured this, and they're still enduring it.